Hello, my fellow adventurers! This is Malucha, and welcome back to New World. In today's episode, as you can see from the title, we are gonna go over PvP track 76 to 80. And the first track is actually looking pretty interesting. Well, at least one part of the track is <laughs> looking interesting, and everybody probably knows what I'm talking about already. So, track 70, 76, yeah, 76, uh, checkpoint 1, medium bundle of coins, 918.75, a large suit up potion pack, tier 4, and small astro potion pack, tier 5. Now, in the previous episode, I also said, like, I, I was always thinking like, okay, you kind of need to like save up your A's up, make sure that you have enough to actually like make sure that you can buy everything. You can just farm it. You can just leave the track open where it is and just farm the A's up you need. And then and, and it's no big deal to wait with completing a track, right? So I'm going to do some more spending. And it also means I'm going to get my hands on some more gold coins here. We got two vials of A's salt in the first checkpoint, uh, second checkpoint, uh, first track. So always really good. Uh, two vials of Azot salt for 500 means 2,400 is uh, always a good deal, right? But we got uh, 1,200 umbral shards. 1,200? Yeah, 1,200 umbral shards for 9,000. Uh, we saw in the previous episode that uh, a, a gypsum was 12,000. And for a gypsum, you can make a gypsum cash. Uh, if the gypsum cash is 625 for the item level that you're making that cash for, you get 400 umbral shards. So, the math on this is pretty wrong, but I'm gonna pick them up, because that's always a good deal. And then, yeah, large pile of coins, 1,375 to finish it off if you have enough umbral shards, and you kind of need some more coin. Well, yeah, you can pick this one up, of course. Check one, three, we've got the Idolator Scow of the Sage, a Focus Light Headgear, pretty interesting. Shurken Heels, pretty interesting. And then Slowing Rupture, and that is a great sword ability. So, great sword on focus. Yeah, no. Uh, again, the champion sky shield of the soldier. So, we got a, a rare shield in here. I think this is the second or the third one that we saw. And then for the third one, brash conscripts, bow of the ranger with vicious and chain fire. So, not really interested in any of these three tracks, guys. So, yeah, let's complete 76 and start 76. It always sounds wrong. English numbers sound wrong to me. But anyway, yeah, let's complete the track and start working to 77, which kind of does make sense. All right, track 77, and I see something interesting. But yeah, let's uh, go over all of them, of course. Checkpoint 1, small Cartogo potion, pack tier 5. We got large bundle of faction tokens, 4,400. And large ruby potion pack tier 5. Checkpoint 2, Potion pack tier 5 for medium one. Uh, we got the prestigious Shadow Grievous of the Sage. Focus with elemental aversion and resilient. Not too bad. Uh, two vials of Azoth salt. So 2,000 Azoth for the cheap price of 500. Always a nice deal. Checkpoint 3. We got a small heap of faction tokens. Uh, 7,500. It's actually not small. It's kind of medium. A uh, small heap of coins. Actually also kind of medium. 1,400. The usual smalls go for around 900. And a field thumb. I think I pronounced that correctly. A great sword. So they have implemented great swords in the PvP track, guys. Now, I was while I actually completed this track, I was on Discord with uh, the company, and I was like, yeah, I really wonder if, uh, well, if people that already completed the entire PvP track will actually get their hands on the rewards. And they actually spoiled it a little bit. Apparently, after level 200, the PvP track. It doesn't go to like 201, 202, 203, but it does refresh. So at 200, you basically get a full track, you complete the track, and you get a new track. So even if players actually got to level 200 before the Great Sword actually entered into the game, they will still be able to get these rewards. So that's actually pretty, pretty nicely. Uh, seen from New World itself. But yeah, we got Dexterity with the Vicious and Keenly Empowered. And it is a named item. So definitely gonna buy this one to check it out. For the rest, I don't really know. Let's go for the two vials of Azot Salt. And then let's go for the Ruby Potion Pack. There we go. 77 complete. Let's find a chest. And we are running uh, Restless Shore right now. Actually change it and see if we can get a war here. 
And I need to be in Valor Hold to actually get some. There we go. Where the hell is it? Over here. So it's only one level. That's pretty cheap to make it into a 600. Let's see what it gets. So we get Purifying Crits, PvP only. Critical hits against players remove one buff from the target. Cooldown 10 seconds. It's actually a long cooldown though. It's actually a long cooldown. Like I would, I would personally, I would put it at like 5 seconds. Like you don't really like 100% crit. Well, you can 100% crit. That's right with the greatsword. There is the perk after every ability you do a crit. So you could like really, if you go one on one, you could actually like strip somebody completely of uh, of his buffs. And it doesn't say like the short duration buffs. It just says buffs. So I wonder if that's going to be like food buffs as well. Like every buff that he actually has. Because then that actually might become pretty powerful. Yeah, this is actually a, 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 a rather good legendary greatsword, guys. Nice that I picked it up. It's For me, it's going in the chest type. Still playing with uh, practice blows and I love leeching crosscut. It is just so good. It it heals so much. Um, I did change my uh, strength and dexterity to 150 to be able to dodge more. And I did see uh, my crits go up to like 9.5k, 10k. So the heal I'm doing right now is is just insane. 75% I'm doing like 5-6k crits. Uh, 5-6k heals. So uh, yeah, definitely interested. Very interesting there. But yeah, uh, I'm going to put this great sword away, guys. Uh, thought, thought I'll uh, explain a little bit <laughs> about what I've uh, been noticing lately. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys back when we hit 78. All right, checkpoint 78. And I see something orange and flashy and uh, repeating exotic, uh, repeating legendary. Uh, but yeah, let's go over the checkpoints as we always do. Large bundle of faction tokens, 4,400. Small bundle of coins, 825. And we got a large Cartogo potion pack. I'm going to go for the coins in track one. We got checkpoint two, the prestigious solemnizers, legging of the scholar intellect with shuriken energy and resilient. Actually, not too bad. Uh, medium leg wears uh, might actually work for still a light loadout as shuriken heals needs a light loadout. Uh, we got a vial of azot salt, a thousand azot salt for 500. Always a good deal. And small pile of coins. I'm going to go for the coins. There we go. And then checkpoint three, uh, two legendary items, two named items. We got the champion's great sword of the ranger dexterity with a vicious chain fire and steadfast purification. So basic attacks hits trigger a fire chain that bounces close targets and deals 15% weapon damage. Two second cooldown and steadfast purification. Each attack of steadfast strike reduces the debuff duration on you by 20%. So we actually have a perk on the greatsword that we saw yesterday that actually removes the buffs of an enemy. Um, well, yesterday, uh, well, in the previous previous recording. Uh, and I, at that time, I was thinking, like, could you strip, like, every buff? Like, even the food buffs? I talked with some of the company members, and they said you couldn't. It's only the buffs that are temporary. But, yeah, the, the skill itself didn't say only temporary buffs. It, it just said every buff. So, uh, kind of a little bit misleading here. Uh, but this one actually reduces the debuff duration on you by 20% each attack. Max reduction, one per attack. So, every time you attack, you basically reduce your cooldown on the debuffs not too not too bad but i'm not really a fan of these chain fires or chain whatevers like i really don't think that they're all that good but yeah still gonna buy it guys i want every legendary item that i can see if even if it's just for in the vault Fifteen thousand those are pretty expensive and then derek's we already saw derek's a couple times in these tracks so yeah if you wanna uh, know what the third perk is i'll show you in a second so uh, let's buy this one there we go, 78 complete. Let's quickly go into my house here. And let's see. Derek's was Constitution, right? If I remember correctly. This, so that's last stand. And then we have Derek. So Shuriken Heals. Refreshing and resilient. It's not a... It's re, it really isn't a bad chest piece. 
but it's light uh so for well yeah for a light loadout you want to go with a heavy uh, well a medium pants then so the other pants would come in handy if uh you actually want to equip it together with this one but most people just go for a medium chest to actually make out the uh like the max amount that you can actually get uh in your point stats like 12.7 is the max if you would go with i don't think i have medium pants here do i yeah medium so let's say for instance i would equip the medium pants and then go with derek's the light loadouts so i would equip derek's in here you see 11.5 so every time your armor goes down your uh well basically the max amount of physical and elemental uh resistance that you can get goes down as well so you definitely want to actually get the highest amount that you possibly can and that is 12.7 anyway guys that was it for 78 let's move on to 79 a first glance nothing that really stands out for track 79 uh checkpoint one medium bundle of faction tokens 3400 small ruby potion pack tier five and we got the prestigious idolaters glove of the scholar light gloves intelligence elemental aversion and resilience yeah nothing really special medium pile of coin 1225 we got the call script long sword of the soldier contagious reverse step and trenchant rent fully charged heavy attacks inflict rent for seven seconds reducing target damage absorption by 14 percent it's actually a pretty good sword like reverse step and trenchant rent do work together really well uh for pvp i'm not really sure for pve i think it's more of a pvp weapon uh we do get prestigious well we do get <laughs> we get prestigious shattered grievous of the scholar intellect with efficient burnout so after activating burnout your mana regenerate is increased by 74 percent for eight seconds additionally your next hit deals 18 percent increased fire damage so that's actually a pretty good perk and then resilient on it we got checkpoint three prestigious shattered crown of the sage a focus with critical retribution and resilience not really um a good one like focus is good but it's heavy and if, if you go heavy and focus in healer build you basically get like minus 30 percent uh healing done so you're never gonna go uh you're never gonna go heavy and then as a healer you're not really gonna crit a lot well you can crit with your attacks but not really with your with your heals i think i'm playing for a year how can i not know if you can crit with heals i need to check that out and then critical hit steal 4.8 percent less damage on you resilient small heap of faction tokens 7500 and the shalomizer's breastplate of the soldier freedom with sturdy energy uh medium chest wear uh freedom is pretty good and then sturdy energy so you can use this one actually for pve as well but sturdy energy is more of a tank um ability so you would rather go for the heavy chest instead of the medium one. But yeah, that's 79. Uh, let's see. Let's get the ruby potion pack here. Let's get the medium coins here. And then, yeah, let's leave Let's leave the last track open. And let's complete this, uh, complete this track. 79 on to 80. Yeah, we're getting closer and closer to 100. And for track 80, nothing really standing out. So checkpoint one, small Astra Potion Pack tier five. We got a medium Astra Potion Pack tier five and large bundle of faction tokens. So I'm going to go for the medium Astra Potion Pack. Checkpoint two, we got the Idolators, Pants of the Sentry, Constitution with Elemental Aversion and Unending Thaw. Ice Storm deals 5.5% more damage. Frost effects will remain on the enemy two seconds longer after exiting the ice storm we got a large pile of faction token 6500 and the conscripts earring constitution with refreshing evasion and refreshing toast actually not too bad of a piece of earring uh nothing really i want to buy in checkpoint two we got checkpoint three we got intelligence with keen and vicious avoid gauntlet actually not too bad but you kind of want to have like perks on your weapon because they will be greatly increased if they're on their weapon and as it has no perks already and it is not a legendary uh it's not really that good it's still like if this would be your first void gauntlet ever then this would be a really good one but 
in the overall perspective uh later on you definitely want to get some perks on there we got a medium heap of coins uh 1562.5 and two vials of azot salt so 2000 azot salt for 500 always a good deal but i'm gonna go for the coins and that is it complete track 80 and five more tracks completed 20 more tracks until we get to level 100 guys and this is also where i'm of course gonna end up this episode let's sit us down like we always do if you want to see more of my let's play here or my pvp track here in new world or any other game i might play on my channel just hit that subscribe button it would always help out a lot i do hope you enjoyed this episode and i'll see you in the next one bye bye